Hi, the latest Famoc Manage update is now available. Listen to what we have prepared for you this time. The first change concerns devices operating in kiosk mode. To make them easier to use, we have added the ability to disable the kiosk settings from the remote access level. Thanks to this, we will regain access to settings, for example. However, if the device has lost access to the network connection, it will also be possible to exit it by entering the PIN code generated in the PAMOC console. We have also introduced a number of new restrictions for WPC mode and Apple devices. These include the ability to block the Bluetooth connection, airplane mode for devices with a work profile, and additional options for managing network settings and updates for iPhones and iPads. Each of us had to face the problem of clogged memory disk more than once. Mobile applications can store large amounts of data in the cache, and disks are unfortunately not made of rubber. The new FAMOC Manage functionality, which allows you to clear the data of selected applications, may come to your aid. In a simple way, it will allow us to get rid of unwanted files from the disk and free up the used disk space. We also improved group support in this update. From now on, by creating new groups, we will be able to assign a selected policy to it or determine the availability of the application in the company store. Additionally, all the details of newly created group will be displayed in a short summary ending the entire process. Another change concerns adding devices using the Knox mobile enrollment method. Thanks to the possibility of registration using the user credentials, the process itself has become much simpler and new devices will be added to the system automatically after the user logs in. The device handover protocol generator has also changed. Thanks to the preview of available tags and support for custom fields, generating this document becomes much more convenient. We encourage you to check this function, which will certainly facilitate the documentation and inventory of company devices. Finally, I will mention the additional possibility of personalizing devices. This function allows you to upload a selected ringtone in MP3 format to an Android device. Now, with a few clicks, we can make company devices play the selected sounds, for example, company jingle. That's it for today. For more information, as always, please refer to the newsletter and documentation at support.com. See you soon. Bye.